description standing in my name. Whereas it is provided by section 63, one of the Public Finance Management Act, Cap 1501, the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, by affirmative resolution of Parliament, borrow from a bank or other financial institution for capital or current expenditure of government. And whereas it is further provided by section 64 of the Act, that money borrowed by the government must be paid into and form part of the consolidated fund. And whereas as Minister of as the Minister of Finance considers it necessary to borrow an amount of US dollars three million seven hundred and four thousand from the Caribbean Development Bank, the bank special development fund term cycle loan facility to support the micro, small and medium enterprises sector post COVID nineteen. And whereas the loan is repayable in 88 equal or approximately equal and consecutive quarterly inst installments. And whereas the loan payments commence on the first day of January, the first day of April, the first day of July, and the first day of October of each year, after a grace period of three years following the date of the loan or such later date as the bank specifies in writing. And whereas interest is payable at a rate of 0.75% per annum on the amount of the principal disbursed and outstanding, we resolve that Parliament authorizes the Minister for Finance to borrow an amount of US dollars, 3,704,000, from the Bank Special Development Fund 10 cycle loan facility to support the micro, small, and medium enterprise sector post COVID 19. The loan is repayable in 88 equal or approximately equal and consecutive quarter installments. The loan payments commence on the first day of January, the first day of April, the first day of July, and the first day of October of each year, after a grace period of three years, following the date of the loan, or such later date as the bank specifies in writing. Interest is payable at a rate of 0.75% per annum on the amount of the principal disbursed on understanding. Passed in the House of Assembly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I were ahead of my time. Weird. <laughs> this is Mr. Speaker, allow me again to quote from page 47 of my budget address, Mr. Speaker. I said at a time, Mr. Speaker, over the years, Access to adequate capital has been a major hindrance to the growth and development of micro, small, and medium-sized businesses. This has worsened since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic and has exposed these businesses to a higher risk of failure. In recognition of this challenge, my government has agreed to assist those businesses in getting on their feet by providing working capital support. Mr. Speaker, I am pleased to announce, consistent with our promise in our election manifesto to small business owners, that the government will provide much needed financial support across all sectors of the economy to micro, small and medium sized businesses in the form of soft loans, grants and technical assistance. The MSME soft loan and grant program will advance the government's priorities in the areas of generating economic growth, business expansion, sustainability, and diversification, employment creation, and uplifting the life, the quality of life of St. Lucians. This initiative is targeted to reach 849 registered MSMEs, including women and young persons, and will provide at least 1,698 new jobs. The MSME soft loan and grant program will be implemented by the Department of Commerce through the Solution Development Bank. A total of EC 10 million has been allocated in this year's estimates for this purpose. The Minister of Commerce will be pleased to provide further details about the, the, the program. In addition, further support has been, has been made available to small and medium enterprises in the form of loan guarantees for loans secured from the following institutions, Bank of St. Lucia, SLDB, and First National Bank. These guarantees have been provided for the Eastern Caribbean Partial Credit Guarantee Corporation. SMEs are encouraged to make use of these instruments. And Mr. Speaker, 
as promised, we are borrowing from the Caribbean Development Bank at an interest, interest rate of 0.75%, Mr. Speaker. The loans, the money make available in the form of loans and grants to small businesses. Mr. Speaker, Cabinet, by conclusion number 326B of 2022, dated 16 May 2022, Cabinet approved access to the Caribbean Development Bank Special Development Fund 10 cycle SDF 10 loan facility for development projects. That was in May 2022, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Commerce will elaborate on, on the loan, Mr. Speaker, on what the financing will be, will be used for. The Minister was instrumental and she and the Ministry, they've worked very hard in getting this sector off the ground and the government is have, making a direct investment in small businesses, Mr. Speaker. It is anticipated that the loan will deal with capital financing um, in the ratio of 70% loan and 70% grant and 30% loan between $3,700 and $9,200, Mr. Speaker, for each business. It will deal with capacity building, project management, and project and it create a project management office, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the loan is going to be administered by the Solution Development Bank and to facilitate this, we're going to be, as the shareholders of the bank, we're going to be increasing the authorized share capital of the bank, Mr. Speaker. And the administrative fee for the bank will consist of an agreed agency fee of 0 0.185 million to be paid to the bank for the disbursement of funds, loan processing, and subsequent follow-up activities with the clients, Mr. Speaker. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, the loan is going to be repaid in 88 equal or approximately equal and consecutive quarterly installments. It's being paid, it's at 0.75%. It's being paid over 25 years, Mr. Speaker, with a grace period of three years. And the SLDB will make subloans to qualify entities under the project at the rate of 3% of which 1% will be retained by the SLDB and 2% in addition to the principal amounts. M Mr. Speaker, I know the small businesses have been waiting for that kind of support and I urge and I also want to tell you that the Ministry of Commerce has also been waiting for the passing of that resolution so they can give much needed support to these small businesses and Mr. Speaker, I'll allow the Minister of Commerce to deal with the fundamentals and the details, but I urge members to support. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.